Am I the asshole? For letting my son operate the self-checkout? I took my son with me to the grocery store today. He is seven. I am a big believer in learning by doing. I like to give my son as interactive a role in things as possible, and if he wants to do something himself I always at least let him try unless it's unsafe. When we got to the self-checkout he confidently told me he could do it by himself, so I let him. There are about 10 self-checkouts and one line for all the machines, so people don't line up behind individual machines. He was a lot slower than I would have been, but he managed to do it all with my supervision, even the produce. As we started to wheel away, a woman walked up and slammed her grocery basket on the counter. She said thanks for doing that as slow as possible, asshole. I thought that was incredibly rude and uncalled for. Some people are slower than others. It is what it is. There were several other machines being used and freed up, so we can't have made that big an impact on her wait time. Edited. Given your replies to others make it sound increasingly like the place was pretty busy, changing to ESH. Using a busy time on Sunday for a learning experience was inconsiderate on your part, but that woman was technically talking to your son, so. Nice person, that. Edit based on Ops response that the store and line were quite busy, ESH. You should have let your son help with a few items, not all of them, or taken him at a less busy time so you're not inconveniencing others. INFO was there a long line waiting for the self-checkout machines. Learning by doing is great, but there's always a time and place for things. Info how busy was the grocery store? If there was one big line, was it long? If I were waiting in line watching that, I'd be silently blowing a gasket. I want to get in and get out, not stand quietly while you allow your child to practice a new skill that isn't required in his daily life. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. Do it when the store isn't busy. Yes some people are slower than others, but many can't help it. You could have easily done it yourself but you chose to take longer at the checkout, knowing that there was a line behind you. You're the asshole when it's already busy in the place it's not time to be slow. You're the asshole save that lesson for a much less busy time. A oh Mike. I used to work at the self-checkout when I was a cashier and I thought it was cute and cool when moms would let their kids to the scanning by themselves. But it was also annoying when I had a line down the aisle and someone was letting their kids scan their groceries taking all day. I think it's perfectly fine to teach a lesson when business is slow and it's not a line. But otherwise it's kinda not the time. As for the name calling it was uncalled for. Soft ESH. Yup you're the asshole. The rude lady was saying what everyone else in line wanted to say. You're the asshole it should have been done at a time when there was no line at all. Lessons shouldn't come at the expense of others. Grocery stores should have turbo lanes you need to qualify for. You're the asshole. Time and place. People were waiting and it's Sunday the day of busy grocery shopping. Not the time. You're the asshole. So, you were inconsiderate of others' time and got offended when someone was inconsiderate of your feelings. If it's crowded like that, it's not the time for your experimentation on your son and his hand-eye coordination, etc. Maybe one or two items would have been sufficient but that's it. You're the asshole. You're the asshole no one cares about your precious son in that line. You made him everyone's inconvenience. You're the asshole. Self-checkout is for people who want to be in and out quick. And the store was busy? Teach your kid to be independent on your own time. Another entitled parent expecting the world to revolve around them, rolling eyes face. You're the asshole. Make a special teach time and not when others are waiting. You are teaching him to be an inconsiderate ass. Much like yourself. Info. How busy was it? Like a Sunday just before closing or a Tuesdays at midday? How many items? An entire trolley or a basket, or just a handful of items? How many people were queuing? How long did it actually take your son? 
leaning towards NTA but I do think you're missing details in this post. You're the asshole do it when the store isn't busy, you have no idea what others might have going on, if they need to get somewhere important and grabbing a meal before work, if they're in pain and standing for long periods of time hurts, or if they're grieving the loss of a loved one and being out in public is difficult. Even if none of that applies, their time is precious to them and you wasted it. You're the asshole. The difference between some people being slower, some people being faster is that the slower people are probably still trying to do their things and clear the machine as fast as they can. It's the intention that matters. You decided to cut into someone else's time because a teaching moment for your son was more important. You willingly went slower than you could have. That's an asshole move. You could have made a point of going back when the store was less busy but no. You're the asshole since there was a line when you did this. It doesn't warrant the extreme reaction you got, but I'd certainly be upset if there was a long wait and someone did this. It's a fine lesson for a child, but the same lesson could easily be done when there isn't a line of people behind you. It was very inconsiderate. You're the asshole. Not the time or the place not everyone has hours of time to spend on waiting for you and your kid to learn how to scan items. It was busy and you didn't care about anyone else's time. You're the asshole. Busy stores aren't the time to teach such a young child. Other people have lives and want to go in and get out as soon as possible, not wait on your kid and his learning experience. The grocery store isn't a school, and you aren't entitled to the time of others. You're the asshole. It was busy. You should have let him help, not do the whole thing. Info this really depends on how crowded it was. Was there a noticeable line? Was it peak hours? If so, I would have chosen a different time to let him try it out. Info I know people weren't lined up at the machines individually but was there a line? Yeah you suck. Not the asshole there were plenty of machines available and teaching your kid self-sufficiency is important for building healthy self-esteem. I base my judgment on the assumption it took maybe 5 to 10 minutes longer for the kid to do it, which is no big deal emo. Calling somebody an asshole because they had to wait a bit more, come on, are you also lashing out at old or disabled people? No way it's okay to talk like this to anyone, doesn't matter how full the store was. Info how many items were in your order? You're the asshole if there was a line. Great parenting method for when the store is empty, but when there are people waiting, just an hour move. ESH While I appreciate the teachable moment, self-checkout is usually for people quickly buying a few items. And if it was even average busyness it would have been better to let your kid do one item and them do the rest yourself. That said, the other woman should have kept her opinions to herself. Info one line for all the machines. Does this mean anyone using self-check had to wait for you to finish? You're the asshole. I take my almost four years old shopping all the time and let them scan, pay etc. But I do that mid-morning during the weekdays EA shops are pretty empty and when is not too many items. Doing this when there's a lineup and quite a few items is an R move.